what's up everyone uh, I'm gonna do a class video today um, uh, I'm going to share a good war replay that I did during the last war it is um, pretty awesome I feel um, so but first I'm going to um, do this replay here by Puma. Look at all that loot. 594,000 gold, 583,000 elixir. Almost 2,000 dark elixir. Nice. So it looks like he is going in with a uh, Govewi, maybe. Um, he's using a golem to tank and using Valkyries. Probably should have waited a little bit to clear some of the outlying buildings before dropping the Valkyries with the, um, clearing them with his wizards, but it is working for him. Anywho, um, I didn't catch what he had in his clan castle. Um, must be Valkyries or maybe miners. I'm not sure. Depends. Um, it had to have been Valkyries, I'm thinking. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job in this base. He's got all the dark, every bit of the dark elixir, every bit of the gold, and almost all of the elixir. Um, he has a few Valkyries left and one wizard hitting that. Um, two wizards, actually. They're both hitting the elixir storages there. Um, which aren't going to help him out much because all the elixir that is left is in that collector there by the king. So he didn't get that, but still, that's a damn good amount of loot. That's a damn good amount of loot. Okay, so we will return home and see what people are saying. Let's say hi to... YouTube and then we will check the war replay war details war log this details of the last war we won what the hell oh god damn it's going slow as fuck okay so we will check this one out um I'm using all bowlers, people. This is my first three star on a live Town Hall 11. So what I do first, I drop the giants in to take the, the uh, fire. I drop three bowlers on each of the corners there with one healer. And then my queen in the middle with four healers. And then after they get most of those buildings, I drop the jump spell like that. And then I spam in all of those bowlers, which go straight to the middle i wait for the eagle artillery to about to land and then i use the grand warden's ability and at that point it protects the bowlers from the uh inferno tower too and then they're just in the middle of the base just ravaging shit uh i uh, use a rage spell on the healers to uh, to heal them uh bowlers up a lot faster and then I rage right there by that Inferno and I freeze the King and the Inferno. That way the bowlers take them both out and then I don't have to worry about that. And then I misplaced that jump spell a little bit. I could have put it up toward the top a little bit further and then they would have been able to jump into all those compartments and the raid would have been done a lot faster. But it is still a solid three star it was already two starred um, by our number two named Sonny. So we, we had this war in the bag within like the first five minutes. We were already up like 25 to nothing. So they didn't even really attack. Um, as you can see, we beat them like 27 to 8 or something like that. 29 to 8. It was almost a perfect war. Um, I attacked the number one, only got two stars but everybody else was three-starred. Um, so, yeah, it was a solid war. They gave up before the war even started, basically. 
So I used my first attack on their number two just to see if I could get an extra star, and I did. So, hi Puma, hi Azen, or however you say it. Um, sorry if I uh, said that wrong there, buddy. Um, that is going to be it for this video. Um, I will make another one probably tomorrow of the clan war that is going to kick off in six hours. Um, so please like, subscribe, and comment.